This video is to show you how to install and use your new Tappa Q Air Probe with the mobile apps. When you get your, your um, probe, you'll have the charger that needs a AAA battery to be put into it. So you install your AAA battery, and then you're gonna charge your pro probe for approximately 10 minutes. If this is blinking, it's not all the way charged yet, it'll go solid green whenever it is fully charged. While it's charging, you're gonna to go to the Play Store and you're gonna look for the TapaQ app and you're going to install it. So I've already got the app installed. You're gonna create an account. You're gonna put in your email address and this will be how you receive your data email to you if you'd like. So go ahead and put in your email address and create a password for your account. You can read the privacy policy here Create the account. I think I might have already used this one. Try a different one here. And then you're gonna name your device. And this is important. I'm just gonna name mine my phone. Um, when multiple people log in with their phones to your account, they'll name their phones. And this, this is how you choose who's gonna get the alerts. And multiple people can get alerts. You'll choose your temperature unit. I'm gonna go with Fahrenheit. At this point, it's gonna ask you to take your probe out of the charger, and then we're going to locate them. Now to locate them, we're gonna need the location permission. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, okay. And I'm going to, um, you can do it only while using the app. Let me do it that way, or you can do the other way. So I'm gonna go ahead and Press start again now, and it's trying to locate the probes. Okay, and I've got two probes here. This green one is not in the charger, and I've got my red air probe here that I'm registering. Okay, now once you get into the app, there's an air probe direct button, and that is going to be reading your temperature reading here. And then you'll, you can go to session details. And from here, you're actually going to choose, there's two sensors on this, your meat and your chamber. So I'm gonna say that my, I'm gonna do beef and I want it medium. It's gonna give me the min and max for the alerts and the bell is on, meaning the alerts are set for this. This is probe one and this is one B, which is the, um, the temperature reading of the air. So I'm gonna call that beef chamber as if I'm in a smoker. And that's gonna give me an alert if it goes below or above 200 to 225 is where I want my chamber to be in. If it goes below that an alert or above that an alert. Okay, and there's a refresh on this one, but this is basically where you do your settings. Um, now, if you set this up with say a tablet and you uh, log into your phone. This is internet enabled, so you can take your phone and be able to see um, your temperatures using the quick temperature view. But you can also go back here to the Air Probe Direct. This is where it's directly speaking. Now, if I actually wa was taking my phone somewhere else and had a tablet going, then what I would do is go into session, view session, Air Probes, and now I'm not actually connected directly to the probe, but the internet, the cloud is giving me the temperature readings here. So I could go to my quick temperature view and see my readings on both of my probes there. So that is a quick introduction. Please let us know if you have any questions. You can go to our website, tapacue.com, and contact us there. Thank you.